received a call from the chief of police proclaiming the death of Gregory Engel, my grandfather. It appears as if he was killed by a confrontation with an escaped zoo ostrich, accompanied by a severe allergic reaction induced by peanut butter. The police are confounded as to how the rogue ostrich escaped and made the half-mile journey from the local zoo to my grandfather's apartment, and where the large quantity of peanut butter came from. Thus, many questions remain unanswered. Mrs. Ashworth, fetch us some tea! Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Mrs. Ashworth, a good butler slash maid, and a good man, but always sleeping on the job. On a related note, it appears that your house is uh, haunted. It just so happens that our young reliable priest who can rid your house of spirits when she uh, He's a little old and a little senile, but he really pushes the envelope for the fear of spirit ridding. <laughs> Nonsense, Hawkins. You really ought to keep your wits about you.
we only knew Butchard English's address, then we could get to him before Gail does. Isn't it in the directory? Huh? Isn't a that what a directory is? All oh, right, here it is. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Ashworth, quick, get my jacket. No. We have a mystery to solve. <laughs> 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 Now that I think about it, there is little to no mystery to solve at all. We already know why Greedy Sister Gale is behind it all. Then why are we going to confront a <laughs> dastardly and surely dangerous, deadly- Don't! <laughs> why are we going to confront a Richard English? How about the word? Miss Drake will quite bored as well. Very well. Then let us all track down the deadly ostrich. <laughs> My team of unlikely detectives approached the assassin's flat, which happened to look uncannily like my own. <laughs> Hawkins had some doubts. I have some doubts. Nonsense, Hawkins. Give that door a good knocking. Here we go. Let's go. Pretend the curtain is a door and not on.